Hey guys, if you're trying to run Fortnite and you see this Fortnite update, whether it's on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, it's the same thing. If you touch an update, you will see that it goes to Open App Store. That's actually wrong because all you're gonna see here is Open. So that's actually an error that happened throughout the app itself. It's not supposed to update through there, it's supposed to update through here, the actual app. So what we have to do in order for Epic to fix this is yes, report that bug. So go right away here and then what you guys have to go is into settings and from settings just report that bug okay that's your last option so just tap on report that bug and obviously that's not the fix the fix itself if you guys want a quick fix since the update's pretty big it's about seven gigs then the quickest way to get around this is just to fully close the app so we're gonna do this we're gonna fully close it okay we're gonna run it again we're gonna let it connect this time, okay? So it's supposed to be connecting, and from there, it's gonna update. But you have to fully close it, like I just did. If you just minimize it, it's not gonna work. And you're not supposed to close at any time the app while it's doing this. So you guys can see up there it says internal error. That's okay, as long as it starts downloading. So you guys can see right now, it's connecting. So once again, in your iPhone, you guys have to do the same thing. You just fully close the app. As long as you fully close the app and do this again, just open it up, it's gonna connect this time and download what it's required. If you're still having problems with this and you're not getting this download to work properly, just go and delete the app and download it again. So what I'm gonna show you is how to delete the app as well just in case you guys are still having problems. You just hold your finger on top of it. You guys will see the lead app or just hold it until they start shaking. You're gonna see the X on the top left hand side. Then just tap on it, delete, and then just download it again from the app store. So just go to the app store, type in Fortnite, and we're just gonna open it up again. This is your last resort, obviously, because it might take longer than doing the actual update. But that's the only way that we can do this if you guys are having problems right here on Fortnite. Anyways, those are the two fixes. Hopefully the first one works for you guys or else just re-download it. It's not gonna take that long. That's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.